All right, guys, here's the setup. We're gonna start up top and we'll just work our way down. So we've got two Castle AP9Xs here. Right now I've got them in blue. I just turned the lights back on so the corals may not be all that open right now, but you can see some of them are still closed. And you've got these um, three rock flower nems here doing well. You've got an orange sea star there. There's the urchin, lapisi tank trying to steal the show a little bit. Um, Bangai cardinals doing well as well. Sorry. Let's see if I can get my filter to do its job. Um, it's not doing so hot, but here's a. Uh, it's one of the rainbow bubble tip anemones. You've got a whole bunch of anemones all through here. Um, that's a little thing as always right there. Uh, you got some little Merletti Blastos here. There's that big bounce mushroom. That big bounce right on top. That'll get upwards the size of a quarter. I do have a really fancy mushroom in there, but I can never get it to attach to anything. So I can't even remember the name of it. Um, a lot of zoa colonies right through here. As you can tell, they're all closed. My light's been off for about an hour now. So maybe they'll open up by the time we're done. Got some mushrooms uh, here. And then, oh, there's one of our, one of the antheas. And the yellow tang right back there in the corner. Sorry about the dirty glass. Um, these clowns here are paired they do lay eggs quite often so you may be lucky enough to get some babies out of them if you take the right steps now down here uh, I'll take the blue light filter off <laughs> I'll zoom out a bit okay so I've got a controller cabinet back here with the ice cap two pump system um, it's also got a leak monitor on it and as you can see it's got the power bar and a um, the trident system I've got the Red Sea reef dose here or and then a three container for your dosing materials um, over we'll move to the sump now over here We've got the Reef Mat 1200 uh, running the refugium. Um, sorry, I didn't get the refugium light on. We've got the Aquamax back there running pretty good. Um, let's see if we can see down here. We do have down here. We do have quite a bit of biomedia, and I do run um, some carbon on the bottom of that. And then I also have a refugium right here that's running quite well. Keeps it quite clean. Um, Got the stock ATO. Uh, has this uh, UV sterilizer. Hasn't been hooked up in a while. Could be hooked up. It's pretty much brand new. Um, anyways, yeah. I'll uh, shut the cabinets and let you see what it looks like. Again, sorry about how dirty the glass is a little bit. Just kind of cleaning it to show you guys I just don't have time for it anymore you know what let me switch this to white so you can see what we're looking at here Go a little more intense with it there's that little blue spotted jawfish here I'll give you a nice good cleaning here so you can see down in As you can see, coralline covered. I do also have in here a couple carpet nems. It's right there under that rock. There's your blue spotted jawfish hanging out under there. Lapisi tang. There's those clowns. You can see that one's buried in there. Got an antheus hiding right there in the rock. A Midas blenny hiding right here in this rock. He loves that little hole right there. Um, yeah, plenty of cleaner crew running around. There's even uh, 
a couple uh, fighting conches in here. Um, there is also a couple, uh, what are they called? Uh, sea cucumbers that uh, move around quite often. And as you can see from the dirty on that side and the dirty on that side, I don't really get to keep up with it as much since we had our new baby. So anyways, um, all of that asking 6,000. Oh, as a side note, to keep the jumpers in, it also comes with that screen top that fits perfectly. This uh, comes off for feeding. It just goes right back in. As you can see, it's a little 3D printed thing that I bought. Anyways, works well.